Hey everybody, I want to take a moment on this Monday, as we normally have a Monday Minute, to actually share with you that I would like to, over the next couple of weeks, uh, kind of suspend the Monday Minute and give you a devotion each and every day for the next 14 days that lead us up until Easter. You're hard to believe we're only two weeks away from Easter as of today. And I want to make sure that we're ready for it, spiritually ready for the amazing moments of Easter. And so today I want to start with Lazarus, if I may. Lazarus, who was from Bethany, a small village there, and he was the brother of Mary and Martha. And Lazarus had become incredibly sick to the point where he actually passed away. What's interesting is that when Jesus heard word that he was sick, didn't immediately go to Bethany, but rather even waited a couple of more days until he left and he called it out and said that God is going to receive the glory for this. And he said to his disciples that a couple of days later, hey, we need to go. And Lazarus has fallen asleep. That's that's what the biblical text says. And that I'm going to wake him back up. The disciples didn't get it. And uh, sometimes we don't get it either as followers of Jesus. And And in the midst of not getting it, Jesus said to him plainly, hey, Lazarus is dead. We're going to raise him from the dead. I'm going to go and do this. And if I was one of the see Jesus' disciples, I would have been all over that going, whoa, this is like incredible. Uh, God's going to do some amazing things in this. And he did. And I want to remind you that sometimes your plan and the way that you want things to work out is not always the way that God wants them to work out. And that God receives the glory and the honor for it when we choose to live for him. And it's an amazing thing how God had a different plan in place. God's never late. God's timing is always right. It may not be your timing. It may not be my timing, but God's timing is always right. And he went and he raised Lazarus from the dead. I also am reminded that Jesus quoted one of these amazing uh, statements of I am, that I am the resurrection and the life, that he, this is a precursor to the Easter story in a very, very, very powerful way. He's setting the whole thing up. And as he sees the pain on his friend's faces that day, he also identifies with that. And we have the very shortest verse in the entire Bible, John eleven thirty five, 35, which says very simply, Jesus wept. It's a very short verse, obviously two words. And uh, Jesus wept because he understood their pain. It's interesting where... Jesus had a plan in place. He knew exactly what he was going to do, but he still identified with what people were dealing with. And I'll remind you today in the midst of your pain, the stuff that you may be dealing with in life, that God understands your pain. He understands it to the point where even though he may have a plan in place already, he chooses to identify with your pain. He chose to identify with the pain of Mary and Martha and others that were there in the village. And then it comes to the point where Jesus says, roll the stone away. And it's amazing how he gets interrupted and, you know, wow, Lazarus has been in there four days. He, there's a bad odor. The King James literally says, and he stinketh. Wow, he stinketh. In other words, the body's starting to decompose. It's not a good thing. There's a bad odor. Jesus says, roll the stone away. I'm sure there could have been a pin that would have fallen to the ground and you would have heard it as everybody's holding their breath. One of those moments I would have loved to have been there to see this stone rolled away and Lazarus comes out. This mummy-like figure that Hollywood can't write a script as good as this. And Lazarus is brought back to life. It's a precursor of Jesus's power over sin and death and the grave. And it's a great reminder to us that there is nothing that God cannot handle. So as we get ready for Easter, get ready for the moments of the miracles because they are numerous. There's a lot of pain, there's a lot of suffering, but there are some amazing miracles that are found in the Easter story. So today, I leave you with the Lazarus as one who was raised to life and everybody's life was changed because of it. That's not just a Monday Minute. That's episode number one of 14 over these two weeks.